I'm making the hem for the pocket for our apron. And to see the steps easier, I've used a contrasting thread. I'm using black thread to go with this red fabric. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, stitch a line two centimeters from the edge of the fabric. So I'm just a straight stitch. I'm going to line up the edge of my fabric along the two centimeter line. Make sure my stitch length is at 2.5. I'm going to back stitch when I stop and when I start and back stitch when I stop. Making sure I've got the edge of my fabric following that 2.0 centimeter line. I'm going to go all the way. This is going to give me a light, nice straight edge. So when I press, I'll have a nice straight line, nice straight line to fold against. I'm coming up to the edge. When I'm coming near the edge, I'm going to back stitch just a few stitches and then pull my fabric out. Then I'm going to change my stitch to zigzag. So that's stitch number four. Press number four on the keypad. And I'm going to line up the edge of my presser foot along the edge of that fabric. Again, I'm using that edge so I don't have to do any measuring. Don't back stitch when I zigzag. I'm going to just zigzag all the way down the edge. This is called finishing the edge. And what it does is it stops the fabric from unraveling. And we don't want all those loose threads. So I'm finishing the edge so that we have a nice, neat seam. No one's going to see this actual stitching, the zigzag. So if it's not perfect, it's not the end of the world. I'm coming near the end here. Again, no back stitching with the zigzag. Just stop when you're near the end. And you can snip the threads. Always a good idea to snip the threads as you go so you don't have threads um, getting caught up in everything.